All right, part two of my Saving Asia series, we will be playing as the spicy flavor of China. So things are gonna work a little different than they did in the big boy China, since we don't really have a focus to subjugate all of the warlords at once. We're gonna have to justify on these three for the time being. It's almost as simple as running across a country with a bunch of naked people. It's very tense. Yeah, wow. And easy. And gone. Alright, now that those guys are dead, we can now focus on the anime threat to the east. I think saying that they're a threat is an understatement, to be honest. Ah, looks like we caught Shrek smoking some of that swampy shit. Ally me. ruh ruh raggy So yeah, we're gonna sit out of it for a little longer because we're not quite ready yet, I don't think. So we'll let Beijing get squandered. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, that cavalry got fracked there. Holy shit. But yeah, we'll just sit here probably for like another couple months. Not much longer. All right, let's join and see how badly we get wrecked. I'm surprised they're all in the 60s. Considering you've got fucking tanks and shit, I'm doing quite well. Yeah, we're actually holding a little easier than I thought we would be. Just have to do some light micromanaging. It seems pretty fine on the front. Even with these garbage 12 with divisions we can hold. I'm not gonna lie with you, I just realized I haven't been using- That makes me even more surprised that I'm holding this well. Well, they still have a lot of divisions, but let's see if I can maybe make a breakthrough in the one plains province we have to attack. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Maybe we can take their capital too with that. Nice. Hey, it'd be pretty nice if you gave me this supply hub. Now, maybe you can run out of supply and actually want to have to pull some troops out because you're overstacking this game on my nerves and we're at 1939. A little early for me to get pissed off at this game, don't you think? I love how Japan trusts a division from Manjian to defend this. Oh, there goes their supply, hopefully. How did we let that shit happen? What the f- You are so goddamn lucky. That was too close. Pushing through Manchuko in this update is a fucking grind. They have no supply hubs. In order to really get to this point, I had to build an extra one out here. Just so I had enough supply to make it the hiss cane. But now I think that I've taken this one, they're kind of screwed over, so we'll push them out now, I think. All right, we're going to try this little 100 regiments offensive because this is starting to get really annoying. They will not die and will give us 25% attack in core territory. Oh my god. They don't want to die. Like a bunch of hornets. All of that for one little city. You see, this is what happens when you're a little bitch. Doesn't feel so good anymore, does it? Get out. So now that they're out of the continent for the most part, we're gonna spend all of our time building up our army even further. It's probably stealing Soviet equipment through land leases. And once we get a decent amount of divisions, we will start to the civil war and completely own China. Boom. With the power of editing, I have instantly gained a full army of people ready for battle. Ignore the time, please. That, that, that doesn't exist. Now luckily since they're so naive, not knowing that we are literally in a civil war with them this whole time, we get a chance to get free land from them. We'll see how much we get before they try to stop me. Let's see. We took Beijing for free, that's cool. Guess land doesn't matter anymore. Jesus Christ. Why? The south is still completely empty here. At least they have something up here now, but what is this? This is stupid AI. This is somehow... This is what I had to fight Japan with. This was my teammate. I don't know how the hell we won, but we did. But now we're gonna have to settle things. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. All right, what I'm gonna do now, since they're being a little defensive again, is completely stop attacking. Now, they might push me back a bit, but who cares? Because in the end, they're gonna lose all of their equipment. It's gonna be awesome. They only have 30 military factories, and they're not even fully supplied, so it shouldn't take that long. Then we'll just have a bunch of naked men running around the shoot. That sounds fun. In a way, that kind of sounds like what happens in Tibet every day now. Shh, don't talk about that part. Yeah, it's only been like two months and that yellow bar is looking pretty hopeless. That's the weak Chinese industry for you. It's going to be weak until I um, fix it up. We know Mr. Shrek isn't going to do it, so I'm going to have to do it at some point. You want to see what happens when you're like China and don't actually supply your armies right? I'll show you what happens. That. That's why you don't attack endlessly like a dumbass. And now you get split in half because of it and encircled. Not only are they like a quarter supply, they're leaving their capital wide open. Guess they're going to leave a second one wide open too. Nice. Oh, of course they've guarded with like their whole army. 
Goodness gracious me. They need to stop guarding this with everything they have. This should be filed as a war crime, stacking this made divisions. Look at this. They moved out to there, and then as soon as I attacked, there's, oh, we gotta run back. I, they wanna torture you, I swear to God. The amount they are babying this port right now is insane. They're dragging everything they have into it. Oh! Get out of here. You know, why the hell does anime have to fucking exist? Look at this shit. Really? God, can I not wait for the update? The update will fix these garbage pastries that these anime obsessed freaks like to watch. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, you old man? Stop watching your hentai and do something meaningful. Yeah, to rub even more in their face, I also brought the big Russian guy against them, so... Have fun, Japan. No, I think I'm gonna go downstairs and get a drink real quick. Let's see if they're still attacking by the time I come back. Oh, look, they stopped attacking. Look at that. They're so beaten up that they are hardly holding these... Ma they had the last stand in the mountains. Oh, the Axis capitulate, I think. Oh, God, I think there's three Francis. Yo, God, what the... F I can't wait for the new update. Things are starting to look a little grim for Team Anime now. Now they cannot leave this place ever again. They invaded at the same exact time. We'll see if it gets anywhere. The United States actually got a decent amount. They might get somewhere. UK's probably gonna get fucked, though. Never mind, the UK made a second- oh my god. Yeah, okay, that might have actually been the end of Japan. Finally, no more anime in this world. Ah, uh, Finally. I'm not gonna lie with you, um... That peace tree was one of the worst ways it could have gone. They took this island from me just like it's real life! Don't worry though, we got them back. We took a couple parts of Japan, so they can't naval invade my coast. I'll just dump my troops in there, and they will be whacked out of Asia forever. So yeah, I'm gonna build up right now, and with the power of editing, you will see me right as I'm about to declare war. And we're back in the Soviet Union just declared war on Greece for some reason. I didn't really want to start yet, but I probably have enough divisions in the field at this point. 5.05 million casual manpower on the field. Honestly, I am very surprised we have air superiority here. The US, I think, had like 12,000 planes. The UK had like 20,000 planes. Looks like they're not really in Japan, though. So yeah, Japan was quite a curb stomp, to be honest. They hardly stood a chance. It's a great victory for the common turn. Unless they don't capitulate. There they go. Okay. Japan falls in like the first month. Oh, do you know we're also Blitzkrieg in France? <laughs> that moment when nationalist Spain joins the common turn. I don't know how they did it. They're not even communists, but you know, we'll take it. That's an extra 139. Th Holy shit. God, they're not playing the round. <laughs> Franco's smoking something funny over there. We seem to have also caught the Indians off guard. Oh, look. <laughs> now they're undefended capital. We've seen a lot of these in this round of Hoi 4. Look at those priorities. Defending that port when the whole entire country is getting overrun. It also appears you made a bit of a breakthrough in the Italian peninsula. Wow, look at that. Both of them capitulated on the same day. That is... A chef's kiss, to say the least. Now, considering we've only been at this war for less than a year, we have, um, kind of rolled them over. They ain't looking so good anymore. Ooh. Iran signs a white pe- What? Oh! Early peace deal. Look at that. Just stole Iran in the snap of a finger. Looks like the turkey isn't handling the pressure too well in the oven right now. The turkey couldn't handle the oven. It was too hot for it. Now it dies. Holy... What the... <laughs> Look how many there are! Please get there. Thank you. Holy hell. That's a big battle. <laughs> That's gonna be a big beating. How many kills was that? 128,000. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen and focus on the Suez Canal here. We're about to take it, I think. Take Port Said. Boom. We own the Suez Canal. Hopefully those 1944 submarines can stay hidden a little bit. Oh, we entered the uh, Mediterranean. 
please don't find my submarines. There's quite a few of them. Oh, we oh we lost a sub in a... <laughs> we lost a sub to a plane. God damn it. Okay, at least they're all my early submarines. Who cares about those? They have like one torpedo on them. Holy shit, why do you have so many fighters? Well, I think my naval bombers are a little better than theirs. We've already sunk a few destroyers. For lucky, we can get something pretty juicy out of it, but... Oh, what did I say? Mr. Weird-looking guy here. What the hell? This guy looks like he'd be a person in a music video from the 80s. He lost a uh, aircraft carrier to us. Oh, it looks like a heavy cruiser. I mean, it's not as good as an aircraft carrier, but it's something decent. Oh, well, another one. Naval Bomber 3s aren't that bad. I should probably use them more. I didn't think they were this good. There you go. There's an Italian battleship. Let's see, the ultimate game show. Are they defending Dover? You had the United. <laughs> you had this. Holy hell, what happened to your army? You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to freak out about this anyway. I'm going to freak out what happened to your entire fucking army. We started this war with you having 5 million men. Where'd they all go? I didn't. I didn't encircle 4 million US troops. I doubt the Soviets did either. Where the fuck did they all go? Well, I guess that's what happens when you put all of your manpower into your air force. It's great you have 40,000 planes that can counter my... All, like, the whole common turns air force easily. But wait till s just one dude steps on your land. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, because all your guys are in the sky. They can't just reach down and punch them in the face. He's gonna keep going. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's funny how the AI is, like, always a prime example of how not to play the game. It's quite nice. It's... Honestly, my tip to new players to this game. Just observe the AI and do the exact opposite of what it does. And you'll probably be safe. Dude. Where the hell is all your army going? Are you just- Are you just like deleting it as this game goes? We may be a good faction, but we're not encircling that many divisions. I don't know what's happening to the United States, but they're doing something stupid. Well, we managed to get naval supremacy by just putting our submarines on strike force. It's kind of a little bit of OP strategy. The allies don't know how to react to whatever, but it works. So we'll see if these guys can make landing. Oh, it's the moment of truth. Will they have divisions? <laughs> Ooh. Get caught off guard. The fucking Canadians are trying to save them. Was the US that underprepared? Now, the thing is, we do have to expand pretty quick here, because if we don't, we're not going to have a any supply and we're just gonna get kicked out so so you don't have enough divisions to guard this entire naval invasion so you decide the best course of action is to invade the vietnamese so now i want to open a second front here because this first one's kind of gone to a deadlock i'm just too far spread out here problem is our submarines cannot reach that far so i think the only thing i have left to do is to justify a spicy war going portugal and your time has come all right, so I muted my mic for something, and I accidentally forgot to unmute it, so I forgot to record Portugal's capitulation, but just know they're dead now, and we can hopefully start a second front up here now. Please don't have any divisions, So I want to get this war over with. Well, I think we might have been halted, unfortunately. That's why I shouldn't speak too soon, but you know what? We have 40 divisions right here, and we have a C right here. <laughs> we got a lot of victory points right here, too. So you know what that means? Another naval invasion. Well, I don't like the look of this. We have, like, no supply here. I'm a little scared, if I'm being honest. Let's see if a third front can maybe open this. It is physically killing me to sit here any longer. This game is killing me right now, dude. It's, nothing's happening anymore. I've noticed that I have captured 9,000 anti-tank weapons, so I'm gonna... I put them in my divisions, and hopefully... They'll actually maybe help with these damn... Tank divisions that the U.S. has everywhere you look. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, um... The game just crashed and I didn't even get to catch it on camera. It's quite a shame. But... I'm afraid that's gonna end the video because... I, d I hadn't saved it for seven years and I'm not gonna do that all over again. I guess that's just some god... Some of the Holy Four Gods from Heaven saying that I am free from this mess. Yeah, I have not saved since this point right here. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, stay tuned for next week, because you'll see uh, Part 3, the finale of this series, will be playing as the King China. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.